Like, now we're just firing at literally point blank range. Let's see an entire broadside just in a close range. It's, it's just... That's just gross. Hello guys, this is Lotto Gaming here, and we're back with another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Alright, we're gonna go into one of the more interesting missions. So, we are going to at attack a undefended convoy. The convoy consists of six, uh, ten transports. We need to sink them all in 20 minutes. It's gonna be, gonna be tough. Let's see, uh, let's go with fire control, so, let's see, uh, uh let's see what we're working with. Because we can, can, we can actually make a very fun ship here. Let's see, here. Do, do, do. Have a battle cruiser. Armored Cruiser, Semi-Armored Cruiser, Semi-Armored Cruiser 2, and Light Cruiser 2. So we're going to avoid these f four, and we're just going to stick with the, the Battle Cruiser here. Alright, so what do we want to do? Let's see. Let's start with the tower. I want the most advanced tower possible. The tower. Oh, that's, that's, that's big. Um, yep, so, uh, that's, that's better. I'm like, what? What? Like, very little difference. This one's just so much bigger, I'm just like, nah. Alright, um, funnels. One huge funnel. There we go. Um, uh, we don't really need to be that fast. The transport ships themselves are very slow. We're not gonna be able to fit a 16 inch gun. I'm sorry, that's just, I mean, I think we could fit one on the back. But. What we want is like a high of high fire rate. I mean, the transports have like literally no armor whatsoever, so we just want high fire rate and good accuracy. 22, 18, 22, 17, 14. Um, I'll just stick with 14 inches, probably. 15, 16, 20, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll just stick with these here. Well, actually, what's the reload rate? A minute. It's a minute to reload. Um, 19. I'm looking at the accuracy. I'm trying to figure out which one is the best. Um. Oh, because, like, in overall accuracy, is the 14 inches, like, the best? That we have. I wonder if I can like squeeze another one up here. Yes. Awesome. Already overweight. It's awesome. There we go. Let's see if we can add a ball bet. Nope. Oh, uh, we don't have to put 14 inch guns up here. We can probably put the maybe the 12, possibly. Yes. One more? One more? No. Maybe, maybe one of the 10 inch guns? No. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'll probably put some 8 inch guns here, probably. Beautiful. And just for fun, we can probably put a bunch of 5 inch guns here, probably. No. Uh, 3 inch guns? No, um, two <laughs> pathetic two-inch guns. You, whatever, whatever. You know what? That's fine. Yeah, we can't even fit it like a, a nine-inch gun up here. Maybe. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Um, we really don't really need any armor in the bulk because we're in range. Um, Really long money, so we can go ahead and get a higher turbine. Um, go ahead and just do this just for the weight. There we go. Um, range final, we're gonna go with the best one we have here. I don't really care about the radio, really. Because I actually, communications range, I'm assuming that that's just um, probably just good for when you have multiple ships. Oh, wow. Oh, that just costs too much. Still cost too much. Um, 
because we're like very low on weight here. But we have so much armor. Um, do this, do the heavy shells. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Alright, so I think this is fine. Because we just want to go ahead and sink them as quickly as we can. We'll switch to um, HE immediately and just go ahead and just pepper them to death. Oh, we target the lead ship first. We're going to turn to engage. Because you think, well, what is it? Part of me wants to just put a bunch of guns on this, but I know that it just won't do that much damage. Like, all these cannons here, so I'll actually find. Like, we're already about to sink this one here. Actually, let's take our time here. No, we'll have fun. Let's, let's just have fun. So, let's see. We first want to go ahead and just take out this bad boy here. Actually, it looks like he's about to sink. We might just change targets. Get another hit or something. Yeah, that will that will do it. All right, uh, first blood. I think as long as we spend only like a minute on each one, we should be fine. And we do have twenty minutes, but we spent like four minutes trying to sink that first ship there. But that was just our our turrets turning. As long as we don't waste too much time trying to turn our turrets, we should be fine. Oh, wow. That poor guy. Got another one. Alright, next target. Go. Nice direct hit. Let's see if we can get another one. The 14 inch guns are about to go off. Ooh, those are gonna be hit. Ooh, ah, that's not that painful. Ooh, okay. These poor guys, they have like 4 inch guns to defend themselves. Ah, uh, that's not gonna do much. Who are we fighting? Oh, the U.S.? Who are we? Uh, well, the... The Italians? Really? Oh, okay. Cool. I guess this is a bad day for the Merchant Marines, I suppose. I'm like, there's a chance that it might fly out, but... Um, I'm he'll just finish off this one and then we'll pop over and finish this guy off. Because we're actually doing very well. There's only uh, a lot of them left. That was bad. Hey, why are you switching? I need to designate these targets. Should die of excessive fires. There we go. You'll finish what you started. I don't have any chance of really hitting us. But despite that, they've gotten really lucky. They scored some hits, but none of them were penetrations. They were like all negated. Okay, extensive fire should kill this guy. Like, literally every single compartment he has to the wheel of his ship, almost to the front, is on fire. The only safe... Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, actually, no. Just go ahead and target him. That's fine. Alright. Well, half time. Um... We're a little bit under par, we might just easily make it, but we might have to redo this with like smaller gun. Never mind. 
I mean, if we can just keep up this accuracy, I might try to get closer just so we can get better accuracy on them. Because we're all kind of running out of time now. I kind of want to kill this guy first and then switch to this one because I don't want to turn my turns that much to engage the last of them. Thanks. Now this is, this is good accuracy right here. It's like 1940s accuracy as well. We get all those dreadnoughts, so this is... This is a real deal right here. Come on, I, I just need another barrage from those, uh... Oh, they're gonna fire at the same time. Ooh. I am surprised this ship is taking so many barrages. I know I switched targets already. He'll just commit to it. Because you think the fire damage would be enough to just sink this guy. Or at least if the crew was on board, they would probably just get off. don't think we're going to actually make it. I think we might... The 14 inch guns might be a little too much. As well, they are tearing them apart, so we just don't have the way to fire, essentially, to make them worth it. Yeah, against heavily... Unarmored targets, as well, like, it's just... It's not worth all... What the hell are you shooting at? Oh, you're down. He managed to actually put out all his fires. He has like the best damage control team in existence. I'm trying to cut this guy off. Hey, where? Like now we're just firing at point blank range at this point. Only three more. I think we might make it, yeah. Get our, if we can get our shots on target, we should make it. Yeah, 72. This should all hit, essentially. Yeah, everything, everything's on fire. I need like another burst there. Uh, yeah, I need another burst of those 14s. Like just everything's on fire. Come on. Okay, he's gone. Two minutes. Ah, uh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be really close. Come on. Come on. One minute. Because we still need to kill that last one. Oh god, this is going to be close. Please kill it. Wow, you missed now? Because you probably won't be able to reload in time again. Why are you guys missing now? Why? Oh, quick. Engage, engage, kill it, kill it. It literally has a sliver of health. Kill it now. No. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was so close. Was like, 
like four seconds away from losing that. Oh wow, that was glass. Ah. Yeah, no, because the appropriate way to go about doing this, actually, so if we were to go back into it, let's see, uh, and then a cover attack, because it was overkill to go ahead and get the the 14 inches. Like, I think if I were going to do this again, I'd just go with the secondary. Uh, actually, I'd still go with the tower level 4 just for the space. Um, still go with the launch funnel, but then I would also... I feel that with its low armor, so I just want something with like a huge reload time, or a short reload time. So probably just a bunch of 9 inch cannons, I would imagine. Yeah, 9 inch cannons, go ahead and a bunch of 8 inch guns or something put on the side. Go ahead and go with the Bass Range Finder, Shore Radio, Auto, da, da, da. Give me the Bulkheads. Uh, wow, I've never done it. Well, it's been both. That's fascinating. Um, Get what it's on the speed, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Because I feel like this would be a better setup. Just because the high... Oh, wow. It's going to do this to us. Oh, I guess it's RNG, really. But this has, like, a, a very rapid reload rate of just under, like, 20 seconds. So I can really just shell out these, these guns here. I mean, they're not just going to outright murder these ships, but the rapid fire makes them a little bit more effective. If I can just get closer. Because they don't have the same accuracy. In fact, I think this might be a worse build. No, finish this guy off. Like the Nella Nation? Oh yeah, this is Austria, I think. Yeah, like I've used a fourth of my time trying to kill this one ship here. Because the nine inches don't have the same accuracy. Yeah. Then again, I'm only using half of my batteries trying to get up close to them. But then half my time's already expired right now at this point. And I haven't even killed one of them yet. I just look at that, it's just all my 9 inches, but I just can't, I can't kill this ship, it just won't die. Because these ships have like no armor whatsoever. Like half my time's expired. And even being this close to so I'm not going to be able to finish him off in time. Because it's just a low amount of damage they can actually do. guy. See how many of them we can take down with us. It's 
So all our shots are hitting, just over penetrating him to just a, such a high degree. Yeah, so this is, uh, I thought this was going to be an example of just like how you should have like low count of guns, but even then, I guess this is a better example of just how you don't want to go too far. As literally, you just, you can't really do as much damage as you would think. Like, at this point, this ship is like basically dead in the water, so they're never going to fit fix that engine. You could probably disengage and you'll be fine, but with the challenge requiring each one to be officially sunk, this is a giant waste of time. Just despite launching all these HU rounds at point blank range, so you just can't effectively kill it. Like the entire ship's on fire, it's just ridiculous. Like now we're just firing at literally point blank range. Let's see an entire broadside just in close. It's it's just that's just gross. I mean they're all over penetrating essentially. Like they have it's just ludicrous. My shots are literally going in one way and out the other, so I think it's mainly because I'm too close. So even if you get very close, just naturally you do less damage, even if you get all the penetrations all the penetration shots and whatnot, you're just not going to do as much damage as you would if you're firing a long range because the shell isn't detonating inside. It is literally just going right through. Like you, you can see it's, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, no, that's, that's really it. Well, I think we'll end the episode here, I guess. So when we come back, we'll do the next challenge, but it's important to note the f what targets you have out there, the heavier arm they are, the better the guns you want, but if you have lightly armored ships, you want to find a medium balance. You don't want to just cap out at a low level because you'll just over penetrate, especially if we get too close. Sometimes being at a distance is better. Because over penetrations, while they're still something, they're not the best. You're not getting the, the best damage, especially if you're getting over penetrations with HE then you're way too close and you should back up unless it would affect your accuracy too much. In that case, you would want to have secondaries on the side because they could actually help you out quite a bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take care and I will catch you guys.